Hi gang, welcome to Classic Guitar Rock. I wanted to do an update. I haven't uh, haven't done one in a while. Uh, well, I posted some last week about my uh, Vibrochant project, but um, I I picked this up here a few weeks ago and haven't said anything about it yet. This is a uh, Music Master bass amp. Uh, some of you are probably aware of this. Some of you might not be if if you aren't into old Silverface amps. Uh, the Music Master bass amp was uh, considered a student bass amp back in the late 60s and, and through the 70s uh, and, and was designed, obviously, to be a bass amp. Well, the secret is this is one of the sweetest guitar amps you will ever find. Um, it is 12 watts. My version is the 6v6 version, and then they made uh, another version that I can't recall the tubes they used right off the bat, but a different different tube set. But this is the uh, 6v6 version. Mine is from 1976. Let me turn this around. We can look at it. And, I mean, it's pretty bare bones. There's, there's a bottom panel. There's no top panel. They were never made with the top panel. And if this chassis looks familiar, uh, that's because it's the same size as a Champ chassis. Um, and in fact, the last video, if you watched it, you saw me put a VibroChamp chassis into a Frontman 25 cabinet so I could uh, use a 10-inch speaker without cutting up the cabinet. Well, this is the same chassis. And what a lot of guys will do is they will they will put a Champ chassis into a Music Man bass amp uh, enclosure so they can can play a 12 inch speaker. Um, now you would need to swap out to a four ohm speaker because this one takes an eight ohm. This is 12 watts, by the way. The Music Master bass uh, amp is 12 watts versus six watts. But you know, it sounds so good on its own. I I don't think I would would do that. I mean, unless my Music Master bass amp chassis was, you know, dead or something. But these are great little amps, uh, as is. And I'll show you here in, in a sec what they sound like. Um, again, I said this is a 76. The stock speaker, as is fairly typical, it's not a great speaker. Uh, so typically, folks will, will upgrade. In fact, I have a new speaker on the way that I will be upgrading this is in really good shape the only thing i had to do it, it was missing the uh fender nameplate so i ordered one of those for like nine bucks and put it on and you could never tell the difference at least from a distance that that's not the original nameplate but let's see what it sounds like okay so i got this baby fired up i've got it at about two and a half <laughs> on my lead position playing my uh, Japanese Made in Japan Strat here. It's uh, pretty twangy. If you want to play surf tunes. like a fender should, right? I'm going to add a little reverb. Then the magic really starts to happen. Uh, I'm going to my second position. I'm going to 
crank it up. I don't know how this will sound on my on my phone. Someday I'll invest in a good uh, camera. Uh, but I'm just going to crank it up. I'm up at about five. That's all I got. That's all I need. Let's crank it up a little more, up to eight. So it gets a nice, uh, nice little breakup. I'm going to turn it back down and, and mess with some pedals here. So I'm back down to about three. And this is, I'm going to turn the reverb down just a tad. Okay, all right. Um, here's my Boss Super Overdrive. market goes they can still be had fairly cheap um, I paid 300 for this uh, which is which is a good deal not a not a super great deal but a pretty good deal uh, I've seen them online anywhere from high threes to 700 bucks uh, but this one's in very good shape uh, the grills in very I just know I never noticed this before I've got one little spot right here where it's a little separated but other than that the grill cloth is perfect the uh, uh, panel is a little scratched around the inputs as is normal on these but man other than that there's a little dust Tolex is in excellent shape uh, once I get the new speaker in I'll be interested to see how it sounds but but uh, a, a great little amp if you've been thinking about picking up a vintage amp this is a good one to start with the nice thing about it 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 has a 12, right? The, the Champs and the Viber Champs are awesome, but they've got an 8-inch speaker. And uh, just doing the little mod I did last week where I, I moved the Viber Champ into that bigger enclosure where I could put a 10 in, man, the difference going from an 8 to a 10 is unbelievable. Uh, it made a big difference. And, um, you know, so, so there's advantages to having a speaker bigger than a, than a 10. But anyways, that's that's the Music Master bass amp. Uh, if you if you can find one laying around, they're fun little amps, and they won't set you back too much, and they'll give you that great Fender tone. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thanks a bunch. Bye bye.